Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at the limit as x tends to infinity of the natural log of x divided by the square root of x. So the first thing to do is to double check that we've got an indeterminate form. Now, I mean, that's uh, probably a bit more obvious in this example that that would be the case. Um, so your numerator um, is going to be infinity um, because as x tends to infinity, log of x will tend to infinity. And in the denominator, we've got root x. As x tends to infinity, will be that will tend to infinity as well. So you've got infinity divided by infinity, um, and so you have an indeterminate form. Now remember what I'm writing here. You might be going, "Oh no, he's written an equal sign with a uh, <laughs> with uh, an infinity symbol," um, as if the top and bottom will equal infinity. Um, this is really to show that we are have indeterminate form. OK, and that allows us to use L'Hopital's rule. OK, so don't, don't worry too much about that. OK, so what I need to do is differentiate the top and the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is just rewrite this as the limit as x tends to infinity of log x over x to the half. OK, right now, if I differentiate the numerator, log x differentiates to 1 over x, and x to the half differentiates to 1 half x to the minus a half. So our job now is to evaluate this, okay? So what have we got? Well, let's simplify the algebra a bit. So we've got 1 over x times by um, so we're dividing by a half, so that's times by 2. And dividing by x to the minus a half is the same as multiplying by x to the half. OK. Right, so what have I got? Well, I've got the 2. I've got 2x to the half over x. Well, I don't need that bracket. And so if I divide top and bottom by x to the half, I'm going to get 2 over x to the half. And as x tends to infinity, 2 over x to the half will tend to 0. OK, and so what I'm seeing here is that this, the limit of this function is actually 0 as x tends to infinity.